Once you learn how to touch type, you'll find yourself typing faster and faster with time. However, you'll eventually hit a wall, a certain typing speed you cannot surpass. So what now? Is there anything you can do to type faster? Well, yes. Hi Digmates, I'm Chris, and in today's video we're going to see how to type faster with a programmable keyboard. But before we begin, a disclaimer. The advice that follows is not for beginners. We're going to assume that you can touch type proficiently, aka you use your 10 fingers to type and press each key with the correspondent finger. You're familiar with a programmable keyboard. You know how to create layers and navigate them. You often use shortcuts. If you don't know how to touch type or use layers but want to improve your typing speed, we recommend watching these other videos. And while you're browsing our channel, why not subscribe? We regularly publish videos about mechanical keyboards, ergonomics and productivity that we're sure you'll find interesting. The key to typing fast with a programmable keyboard is to keep your fingers as close to the home row as possible even when you have to hit enter or when you have to type special characters. So let's see how you can do this step by step. Step one, customize your thumb keys. We know this is not exactly news, but we can't stress this enough. Enter, backspace, shift are some of the most pressed keys of the keyboard and they all required the pink key to press them. That means that you're leaving the home row more often than not. And that's gotta end. Try moving ESC, enter, backspace, shift Alt or Ctrl to the thumb keys. This simple change will save you a lot of hand movement. The keys that you choose to move to the thumb keys would depend on what you use most. On top of that, you might have noticed that there's something else written on the thumb keys. That's because the next step involves one of the most powerful tools a programmable keyboard gives you. Layers. Step two, create a layer with punctuation marks. If you're a heavy typist, you're surely familiar to how difficult it's to reach punctuation marks. Some good examples are the question mark, the exclamation, or the parenthesis. In a default distribution, these keys are found on the corners of the keyboard. Well, not anymore. With a programmable keyboard, you can create a layer where all your punctuation marks are on the home row. Definitely much more comfortable and fast than pressing shift with one pinky and stretching your other pinky to the edges of the keyboard. Step three, create a layer with symbols. Once you're done with the punctuation layer, you might want to go for a symbols one. Many symbols require you to press a modifier in row zero or one, like shift or alt gr, and a key on row four at the same time. When you try to reach for the at or the dash, you're either taking your hands away from the home row or making a weird hand stretch. These are bad solutions for key presses we do many times each day, but there's an easy fix. Create a layer where all the symbols are comfortably placed under your fingers in the home row. Now you can simply shift to that layer with your thumb and select any symbol without having to stretch your fingers. Step 4. Say goodbye to the three key shortcuts. Especially those that require three keys, like paste without formatting, shift plus control plus V, or formatting headers in Word, shift plus control plus number key. Thanks to this layer, every key can become a shortcut. The days of twisting your fingers to perform combos are over. The options and choices are up to you. But here's an example of an editor's layout. Thanks to these shortcuts, moving text blocks, selecting parts, and reformatting the text becomes much easier and requires way less usage of the mouse. Step five, easily navigate your document. If there's one thing that makes typists and editors move their hands off of their home row, or worse, the keyboard, it's navigating a document. With a navigation layer, you'll quickly move through or select words, paragraphs, and whole documents without having to contort your hands. This way, you won't need to move your mouse to scroll through or move through your document, nor to select the text you want to edit or delete. Reducing your mouse movement to the minimum will let you keep the hands on the keyboard at all times, directly increasing your typing and editing speed. With the thumb keys and these four layers, you'll be typing and editing faster in no time. However, you might be wondering why we separated the symbols, punctuations, shortcuts, and navigation into different layers. This is called clustering. By grouping all the keys that perform similar actions or clusters of actions, it's easier to associate one finger with a set of comments. That way, it's faster to get used to layers. But where should I start? 
Well, it depends. Editors might choose their shortcuts and navigation layers to purge texts mercilessly. Writers might choose the punctuation one, and programmers will definitely go for the symbols layer. Anyway, we're not dodging the question. Probably the best one to start is the shortcuts layer, for the simple reason that it will prevent the weirdest hand movements, and shortcuts often take more time away from typing than symbols and punctuations do. As a second choice, go for the navigation layer. Saving time is the real goal here. If you find our advice helpful or have some of your own, please let us know in the comment section. We love knowing about your stories and ideas and, as usual, like, subscribe and turn on the notifications for more content. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.